Well, today we're going to continue discussing solving inequalities. Today we're going to be able to write and solve compound inequalities. So here is your warm-up to begin your math practice today. You want to download some new songs on your MP3 player. Each song will use about 4.3 megabytes of space. You have 7.8 gigabytes of 19.5 gigabytes available on your MP3 player. At most, how many songs can you download, knowing that one gigabyte is equal to 1,024 megabytes? So pause the video for a moment and then come back and check your answer. Okay, the first thing we notice is we're talking megabytes and gigabytes, so we need to get everything in the same unit measure. So we're going to take the 7.8 gigabytes that we have, multiply it by 1,024 to find out just how many megabytes of storage we have on our MP3 player. Then we're going to substitute. We need about 4.3 of these. We don't know how many songs at 4.3, but it has to be less than or equal to the amount of storage that we have available. So of course we divide both sides by 3. So you can download 1,857 songs. Our key concepts for today. Compound inequalities are two inequalities joined by the word and or the word or. When you see and, it means a solution that makes both the inequalities true. And when we see or, it means that a solution makes either of the inequalities true. So let's look at example one. So first of all, we need to solve the compound inequality, and then we're going to graph the solution. Notice we have and, so this is going to make both of them true. We're going to solve this inequality by dividing both sides by 4 on this one and dividing both sides by 2 on the second one. So we end up with r is greater than 3, or negative 3, I'm sorry. So since it's greater than negative 3, our arrow will go this way, and it's just greater than and less than, so we have an open circle, and r is less than 5. So what makes both of those true? Why the portion in between. Here again, divide both sides by 5, divide both sides by 3. We get z is greater than or equal to negative 2, so we have a closed circle and it's greater than, and we graph this one, we put an open circle at 1, and it's less than, so the part that makes them both true is in between. Okay, so now we're going to solve a compound inequality and graph the solution. These look a little different. We have to subtract 1 from both sides. And then we're going to, we've got r is greater than a negative 3, and r is less than a 3. So what parts satisfy both? The part in the middle. Okay, on this one, we're going to start by adding 2 to both sides and then we divide both sides by, or all sides by, 5. So we have x is greater than 1, and here we have x is less than 3. The part that satisfies both of those lies in between. Notice r lies between, x lies between. Okay, and our final example for today, we've got or, so it's going to satisfy either or of either of these. So we're going to divide both sides by 3 and both sides by 7. So x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than 5. So we've got what it satisfies on both of those. Here we're going to divide both sides by 5 and a negative 2. What happens when we divide by a negative? We flip the inequality symbol. So we've got p is greater than or equal to 2, and p is less than negative 5. Very good. You're ready to begin the assignment.